Jason Morosco. I work for Ultimate Air, the manufacturer of the Recuperator. I want to discuss makeup air and inside house pressure and how it relates to ventilation for a few minutes. Anyway, so um, with this product, we have two independently controlled air moving motors, one delivering air to your house and one removing air from your house. From the factory, this unit is set up to deliver the same amount of air that it removes. So if you think about the inside of your house as an enclosed volume, uh, there will be a pressure difference between the inside of the house and the outside. Uh, balance positive or negative. I would like to say we want this to be po positive to the outside, be uh, sorry, uh, balanced, because you don't want to force uh, humidity that might be inside out through the wall cavity, or in the other season, you don't want to suck humidity in from the outside through your wall cavity. That is the primary reason. Uh, the secondary reason being negative pressure uh, sucking air from outside is going to have an effect on your heat load and your uh, particulate level inside. You're just sucking raw outside air in, uh, untreated and unfiltered. Uh, negative pressure. Now, the other aspect being makeup air. Um, so, if you have exhausting appliances such as bathroom fans, a dryer, and a range hood, all of these items blow air out of your house. They do not bring any air back in. So when those items are operated, there is the possibility that your house is under negative pressure. Um, why is that bad? Well, if I have an open combustion hot water tank and I cause enough negative pressure, you can cause the exhaust gases of that appliance to backdraft meaning it's going to suck in to the house the uh, burnt combustion gases that you were trying to exhaust. And that's a bad thing. Uh, that's actually a really bad thing, a hazardous thing. Um, that's one scenario. Um, most generally, a really leaky house that has open combustion appliances has enough infiltration to take care of that. But, you know, that's not to be taken to heart. Uh, that is something about your own installation. So with the respect to the recuperator, we do have the ability to have an influence on house pressure. So as I said, the standard unit from the factory is set to bring in the same amount of air that it takes out. Now that will have a neutral, uh, no effect on the inside versus the outside pressure. If it was negative before you put the recuperator in, it's going to be the same. If it were positive, it's going to be the same. Like I said, we're bringing in the exact same amount of air that we're taking out. Now, also with the standard unit, you can offset the incoming versus the outgoing flow. When you remove this cover, there is a control board under here that has uh, two selection, two jumper selections gives you four selectable points. From the factory, it's set to be balanced. Excuse me. Same incoming air versus outgoing air. And you can make uh, three other selections. You can select to be 20, 40, or 60 CFM offset. What that means is it will be 20, 40, or 60 CFM less air leaving the house than what is coming in basically, at high flow. So with that, you have the ability to bring slightly more air in than you take out, which will have a positive pressure influence. Will it make the house positively pressurized? I have no idea. That is a, that would have to be tested. Uh, you know, 60 CFM is not a lot of additional air coming in Whereas you could have 50 CFM bath bands, you could have 200 CFM dryers, and you could have 200 to 2,000 CFM range hoods. Um, those negative pressure cases are still going to be there. There's nothing that we can do about that. There are other ways of doing makeup air, and you can call me for more discussion on that.
Now the second option that we have, and this is, a, this is an option that you would have to order the unit as a pressure guard unit uh, when you place your order. And basically what you will get is a pressure transducer that gets wired to the unit and then you have two pressure taps, one mounted inside of the house, one mounted outside. What this accessory does is it actively monitors the inside pressure versus the outside pressure and tells the blowers uh, which, you know, do I need more air coming in than leaving or reverse? And it will actively attempt to maintain either balanced inside to outside pressure or slightly positive inside to outside pressure depending on what you have selected on the board. So again with this option the maximum offset is right around 130 CFM and that will take up to an hour to achieve if you have negative pressure it will keep uh, stepping the blowers apart if you have it on maximum flow until it's reached 130 CFM offset, which is its maximum cap capacity to uh, you know, its maximum capacity for influencing the pressure. It is not instantaneous. It's not going to uh, you know be an instantaneous uh, 200 CFM more when your dryer comes on. That you know that is not what is intended. It is intended to maintain the set point for 90 percent of the day when, you know, uh, it'll be a faster recovery after your dryer has run, it'll be a faster recovery after you've done, a, you know, used your bath fan, etc. But for most of the day, if your house was negative, it should be able to maintain either neutral or positive, whichever you have selected. And again, that is very explicit to your house. If you have a very, very leaky house, uh, this probably is not going to be able to do that for you. And again, you'll have to call to discuss this further.